From an incredible landing at Cristiano Ronaldo International Airport to the Hard Rock Hotel collapse or the huge seven alarm warehouse fire in Houston all show us that humans are so great that no matter how talented people are, we can't completely control everything in daily life. This video is made for educational purposes and contains significant original text commentary. Watch till the end and let us know your thoughts in the comments section. Let's get it on. The implosion of the Wellington Hotel in Albany, New York was a meticulously planned event marking the end of an iconic structure. On October 27, 2000, spectators gather to witness the controlled demolition of this historic 18-story hotel, an event designed to clear the way for urban redevelopment in the city. Architects strategically placed explosives throughout the building to ensure a controlled collapse. The building's exterior seemingly folded inward, followed by a cascade of debris as the structure crumbled to the ground in a cloud of dust and rubble. The demolition represented both an end and a new beginning for Albany's urban landscape, paving the way for future development in the area. Some other hotel demolitions in the world. What do you think about these demolitions? King Dome was a multi-purpose stadium located in Seattle, Washington. It had been a prominent landmark in Seattle since its opening in 1976 and hosted various events. However, concerns about its structural integrity, particularly in the wake of an incident in 1994 when some ceiling tiles fell, led to discussions about its future. Finally, on March 26, 2000, the King Dome was imploded in a controlled demolition. The implosion was a carefully planned event to bring down the massive structure, creating unlimited dust clouds that rose into the Seattle skyline. The demolition marked the end of an era for the King Dome and paved the way for the modernization of Seattle's sports facilities, eventually leading to the construction of the state-of-the-art CenturyLink field today. This footage reveals the high-stakes scenarios and the dramatic consequences of misjudging height restrictions, resulting in collisions that range from mild impacts to catastrophic incidents. <laughs> Each crash underscores the importance of precise navigation, showing the immense power and size discrepancies between these towering ships and the unyielding structures above them. They emphasize the critical need for thorough planning and adherence to safety protocols in maritime transportation. <laughs> it's not a rock slide or a landslide. You're watching videos of production quarry shots in Queensland. <laughs> How amazing. shows the ingenuity and talented calculations of geological engineers. Join the conversation with us, share your thoughts and hit that subscribe button to receive our most up-to-date videos. Houston, located in southeastern Texas, is a vast city of the US. Houston is intersected by several bayous. The Houston Ship Channel connects the city to the Gulf of Mexico, making it a major hub for shipping and commerce. The huge seven-alarm warehouse fire in Houston in 1995 was a devastating event. It occurred at the American President Lines Warehouse, a shipping and storage facility near the Houston Ship Channel. The fire broke out on August 30th, 1995 and quickly escalated. It raged for hours, leading to the collapse of the warehouse and causing significant damage.
It took more than 200 firefighters from various departments to control the blaze, which was one of the largest in Houston's history at the time. The incident resulted in environmental concerns due to the potential release of hazardous materials stored in the warehouse. Fortunately, there were no reported fatalities. The Hard Rock Hotel collapse in New Orleans in 2019 was a tragic incident during the construction of the hotel. A crane, positioned on the building, became unstable and partially collapsed, leaving it dangling precariously above the street. Due to safety concerns and the risk of further collapse, authorities decided to conduct a controlled implosion of the damaged crane. Ottawa, Canada's capital, rests on the Ottawa River in Ontario's southeastern region. The Rideau Canal, a UNESCO World Heritage Site, winds through the city, adding to Ottawa's charm. In the last nine months, a devastating explosion rocked the serene suburb of Orleans, just outside Ottawa, decimating several homes under construction in a Minto construction development. It was such a forceful blast, it was felt within a 15-kilometer radius. Finally, investigations pointed to a confirmed gas leak. Michael Yenoff livestreamed an Air Canada flight that came dangerously close to crash landing at Toronto's Pearson Airport on his YouTube channel. Unbelievable. Thank God everyone's okay. A remarkable landing at Cristiano Ronaldo International Airport, Portugal, was captured on tape, showcasing the challenging nature of this renowned airport, known for its tricky landings. This is an incredible landing from the skilled Ryanair pilot navigating the conditions expertly. So great. Buffalo, New York sits at the eastern end of Lake Erie, serving as a major port city and the second largest in New York State. Eight years ago, a startling scene unfolded when an underground fire triggered a manhole explosion captured on camera as smoke billowed. Promptly, buildings were evacuated to ensure safety. Heads up, heads up, heads up, heads up, heads up, heads up! Spectators recalled the astonishing sight of a manhole cover launching hundreds of feet into the air, an unprecedented event that sparked shock and concern. Fortunately, despite the intensity of the explosion, there were no injuries reported. Last year, an alarming scene unfolded on the northbound side of the New York State Thruway near Exit 12. A car erupted in flames, engulfing the vehicle in a fiery spectacle. The blaze painted the sky with billowing smoke, halting traffic and attracting a flurry of emergency responders. Fortunately, no injuries were reported, but the incident served as a stark warning about the potential hazards lurking on the roads. You're watching some heartbreaking train derailment scenes. When a derailment happens, the train may partially or completely leave the tracks, leading to varying degrees of damage to the train, tracks and surrounding infrastructure. The severity of a derailment ranges from minor incidents with minimal consequences to major accidents involving multiple cars or even entire trains, necessitating significant rescue and recovery efforts. Last summer, in the quiet expanse of a St. Louis suburb, life momentarily halted as a contracted laborer struck a hidden gas pipeline, triggering an earth-shattering explosion. Cameras unwittingly captured the catastrophic moment, immortalizing the eruption that raised a home to dust in mere heartbeats. It was a symphony of chaos with billowing flames and debris dancing in the air, a sobering reminder of the delicate balance between human endeavor and nature's potent force. Sucre, situated in south-central Bolivia, rests at an altitude of around 9,186 feet above sea level within the Andes Mountains. It occupies a valley surrounded by low hills. In February 2019, 
harrowing mudslide struck Bolivia, vividly captured on camera as individuals traversed a path on foot in the northeast mountainous region near Sucre. This calamity occurred following three consecutive days of torrential rain, pounding the already precarious conditions. The day before this incident, another mudslide occurred in the same vicinity, burying vehicles along a mountain highway near El Choro. Tons of earth and mud cascaded onto the roadway, engulfing cars that had lined up along a muddy stretch of the route. The mountainside succumbed to the forces of nature, amplifying the peril faced by those navigating the treacherous terrain. <laughs> In a startling incident on a busy Minnesota highway, a small aircraft made an emergency landing around 10.30 a.m. on 81 and West Broadway. The aircraft lost power mid-flight, striking power lines and subsequently crashing into a passing car. The 23-year-old pilot, en route from South Dakota after departing from Crystal Airport, skillfully maneuvered to land on County Road 81 amidst surrounding buildings, homes, and moving vehicles. Despite impacting one passing motorist, both the pilot and the driver were safe, a testament to the pilot's remarkable skill. In stunning events, Japan was gripped by a colossal sinkhole, devouring a sprawling five-lane intersection near a bustling station, the sinkhole ominously filled with sewer water. Consequence was traffic to the beleaguered city and subway line extension construction as the catalyst. Approximately 100 local establishments suffered crippling losses, prompting government vows for year-end compensations. Manila's central post office is located in the heart of the city of Manila, the capital of the Philippines. It's located on an intersection of key roads and known for its historical significance and cultural landmarks. An unfortunate fire happened there. The blaze started in the basement of the 100-year-old building and spread quickly due to confined spaces. The fire caused an estimated 300 million pesos, 4.25 million pounds, worth of damage to the building. The building was closed when the fire began. August 2022, the 45-meter-long Aria SF boat dedicated to the tourist charter caught fire off the coast of Cala, Siona. The boat, which was occupied by seven crew members and nine passengers, who were rescued safe and sound, ended up completely burnt in a few hours, and the living wreck was transferred to the port of Ibiza. Thick clouds of black smoke stretched skywards after several explosions caused a huge fire at a factory in Singapore this afternoon in June 2019. <laughs> The blaze started in a sprawling complex in the Jurong district of the country at around 5 p.m. local time. Just before 1 a.m. on Tuesday this month, a fire near one of MCAS Tustin's historic hangars occurred. The Orange County Fire Authority units found a well-established blaze outside the hangar, escalating swiftly. Then flames reached the top of the north hangar, prompting a second alarm. With the fire's size escalating, a third alarm was sounded, forcing Incident Command to adopt a defensive strategy to contain the blaze and prevent further property damage. 
Arson investigators are en route to determine the fire's cause. Paris American Academy is an institute in France known for its focus on art, fashion, interior design, and creative fields. Established in 1965, it's been a hub for students seeking a diverse cultural experience while studying arts and design disciplines in the heart of Paris. In a devastating event that shook the artist community on June, a gas explosion ripped through a prestigious fine arts school nestled in Paris, France, Paris American Academy. The calamity inflicted widespread chaos and destruction leaving a trail of devastation in its wake. The incident not only disrupted the sanctity of the Institute, but also sent shockwaves through the art world. This unforeseen tragedy stands as a stark reminder of the vulnerability inherent even in the most cherished and esteemed institutions. In a shocking turn of events, a viaduct in Poland collapsed in a domino-like sequence perilously close to passing cars. The structure gave way with alarming suddenness, creating a perilous situation for vehicles in its proximity. The unexpected collapse not only posed immediate danger, but also sparked concerns about infrastructure safety. In 2018, New Mexico's interstates witnessed many crashes that impacted families. The state's highways lack median protection, leaving vast stretches vulnerable to vehicles crossing into oncoming traffic. New Mexico mostly relies on steel cable barriers in only a fraction of its interstate miles. Experts debate their efficacy, some doubting their ability to stop vehicles while there's agreement that they could modify speed and direction. What do you think about this? Creskill, New Jersey, chaos erupted as a towering landscaping crane unexpectedly crumpled to the ground on Roosevelt Street. The scene was marred by the crane's entanglement in a web of power and telephone wires, leaving it ominously suspended above the ground. Rescue crews swiftly mobilized to untangle the colossal machinery from the intricate mesh of live wires that held it captive. In a catastrophic event captured on video in Wilmington, North Carolina, in June, chaos erupted as a truck turned left onto military cutoff road, snagging on overhead wires, sparking a tumultuous display of electrical discharges into the air. The driver, seemingly unaware of the damage, persisted onward with the crane still upright, leading to a calamitous collision with a traffic light. The impact sent debris raining down onto nearby vehicles, painting the scene with shards of destruction. Other similar videos showcased the alarming sequence of events, highlighting the perils of negligence and the swift escalation of chaos on the roads. Keep going, keep going, you got it, you got it. Keep going, keep going, there we go. Seest, a suburb of Kolding in Denmark, nestles in the southeastern part of the Jutland Peninsula. Seest Fengsel Factory, a facility known for producing fireworks, is located here. 
In November 2004, this location experienced a tragic fireworks accident that resulted in a devastating explosion at this fireworks factory. The explosion was of significant magnitude, causing widespread destruction in the surrounding area. Buildings were heavily damaged, and the shockwave from the explosion shattered windows and caused structural devastation in the vicinity. The incident prompted more safe procedures in firework manufacturing facilities in Denmark and globally. Jay is a town in Franklin County, Maine, situated on the western part of the state. It spans approximately 56 square miles and is characterized by hilly terrain with forests and water bodies. In April 2020, an explosion occurred at the Anderskagen Mill in Jay, Maine. The mill, operated by Pixel Specialties Solutions, produced paper products. The explosion took place in the facility's digester area, which is a crucial part of the papermaking process, where wood chips are turned into pulp. Fortunately, there were no reported major injuries resulting from the explosion. The blast caused significant damage to the facility and led to a temporary shutdown of operations. It also prompted concerns about the impact on local economy and the employees of the mill. The incident underscored an importance of safety protocols in such environments. At a natural gas filling station in Riverside, California, a van exploded, causing a sudden and alarming disturbance. The incident rattled the station and surrounding area, raising concerns about safety protocols at such facilities. This event highlights the importance of safety protocols and precautions. London Heathrow Airport is located in the western part of London. It's one of the busiest and largest airports in the world. Last year, a heart-stopping event at the airport left those who witnessed it unforgettable. Amidst the fierce might of Hurricane Eric, British Airways Boeing 787 found itself engaged in a high-stakes battle against the elements as it attempted to touch down at the airport. He's got that. Yeah, he's got that. Easy, 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 easy! The first landing of the British Airways plane had to be abandoned due to the forceful winds generated by Storm Corrie sweeping through Heathrow Airport. Finally, it's safe after its initial landing attempt. Thank you for watching the video. If you feel it's good, please feel free to click the subscribe button to receive more interesting videos. See ya.